previously on Sailing the Lone Star. So we're gonna try to work smarter not harder. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna put some pieces on the big piece before we stick the piece in the hole on the thing. Uh. Hmm. Sir so will explain. So we have the intake exhaust manifold over here and we have two pieces that we can fit on right here before we go and try work in zero space. So I'm just sanding the mating surfaces with 150 and then I'm going to go 400 and then I'm going to get the new gaskets and we'll slap this puppy together. Cool. cool. Dun, 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 dun. What's interesting, and what I've learned working with Searle over the last few weeks on this engine project, is that it's not quite as difficult as I thought it was. Now, I think we're doing something pretty simple right now, just changing gaskets on the closed loop cooling system, but we just took the parts off, we cleaned them nicely, we ordered the new gaskets, and now we're just gonna replace it. And I mean, I think we're looking at like maybe 15 bolts. And there was some tap and die stuff that we had to do that I don't think I showed you guys. We just cleaned up all the threads, um, just in case there was cross threading over the years. Searle is super, super detailed. I am not super detailed. I'm a get her done kind of girl and he's a get it done right kind of guy. So we make a good team. We get stuff done fast and we get it done right most of the time. <laughs> we are just preparing this big heavy piece to put in the engine base. We're gonna add a couple more pieces to make it even more heavy and cumbersome. It's gonna be amazing. Freya, you are busy supervising. What do you think about what's going on around here? You want people to subscribe? My mom will buy me a biscuit if you subscribe. All right. and die action. Cleaning the threads before we put this engine back together because we want to make it happen smoothly. First of all, I thought gaskets were rubber. <gasps> they are not rubber. They're like a cardboard. Learn something new. Also, Sir let me touch the gaskets. These are his gaskets. He looked far and wide for these and we struggled to get them. Finally, we found them, but they were not that easy to find, which I was surprised because this is a Ford product and I hear a lot of people say they have the same engine. So anyway, uh, this is super simple so far. Step one. I would also like to point out how magnificent my outfit looks. I match, kind of. Are we sure this points down? Roger that. I don't know, I've never worked on diesel engines before. I mean, a little bit. All right, now I got them finger tight. It's ready to install. So should I tighten this one down like extra hard on this side all the way and then go to this side? No. A little tighten on this side. A little tighten on that side. We're doing it all even. Okay, now the gasket's kind of squishing out more on this side than the other side. More problem though. <laughs> no? I don't know, I'm learning. All right, she's done. Fire it up. I'm holding onto this piece as if it fell. I could possibly catch it, but I can't. This thing's super heavy. So. I'm just gonna sand this and make it pretty. We've got, looks like 400 here. Can I get a piece of 80? It'll go faster. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just making this surface nice and smooth. Looks good. Oh, yeah, these will go on first. These big holes at the top 
and you can see there's a split one in the middle here. Uh huh. So it goes that way. So slide that on. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> let's just make sure that surface is looking all good with a head torch. I tell you what. If I could trade the old lady lumps for big muscles, I would definitely do it because this job requires big muscles that I do not have. Oh, Atlas has been doing my hair. He is a hairstylist and woodworker, not an electrician. You overseeing this project? Yeah. All right, what is happening? We're gonna set the gaskets on here and make sure they're the right way around and we're going to take this lump of steel and slap it on there and torque it to spec. Torque it to spec? Yeah, with our torque range. Is that a new TikTok dance? <laughs> <laughs> That's the new Cardi B song. It's torque it to spec. <laughs> Look it up. Or make it. Get on TikTok and make a torque it to spec Cardi B song dance. Don't look at me like that. All right, so here we have it. We have the man with the muscles who is going to place the heavy part on there. Atlas, I really don't need your commentary. Fluffy and handsome. Okay, you ready? I'm scared for your little. Aren't you helping me? Oh. This is a two person job. Okay, you wait right here. Step down there, buddy. So this thing needs to rotate like this first. So. On top oh, of oh, my fingers. Ow, ow, ow. Put your finger in the hole but at the other end. My fingers are so thin. Just this hole? I think you're not appreciating how not strong I am for this. Okay. Okay, let's just rest it there. Okay, so that we gotta make sure that's all. Okay. Slide a little bit towards me. Lift it up. Can we hit it? Yeah. Oh, it smokes. Okay, now what? Wow. That's Can it. we let it go now? No. Okay, Atlas over overlooked and oversaw this whole entire project. <laughs> We're not even done yet. Um, I thought I was going to drop that for sure. Stop. Fresh, new, clean, and in it goes. Make sure it's got a nice snug ah. fit. Part two, fresh new gasket. And Bob is maybe your uncle, not mine. Oh, I was gonna say, you also have an uncle named Bob? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking so fun. Looking good. So you say it's unicorn urine? Unicorn urine from yours truly, West Marine. So how many gallons do you think it's going to take? Four. D. Forty. <laughs> So I'm going to go into town, maybe get a coffee 
or run a couple errands. I don't know, get out of the boat for a minute. Horses go to die. Proper use of tools, 101. Ew, what is that? Uh, is that a mushroom? I think so. I think it's actually growing there though. Ew! In other gross news, Ray, is torture? Do you want to help clean? What? Tongue action. Huh? Is this gonna make space smell a lot better? Yeah. Dirty jobs. Now that is looking so fresh and so clean. Much more delicious. We'll call this the before. Delicious. Can we give this toothbrush back to Tana now? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there is the after. It's pretty good. I haven't had an oven in over three years. I am so excited. I'm gonna bake cookies and I'm gonna bake bread. It's gonna make me look fantastic in my swimsuit. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out. We'll see you next time on Sailing the Sloan Star. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. River's gonna cry when you're gone.